Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And my final movie review this evening is Camp Coldbrook. This movie was released to uh, theaters and on demand on February 14th, 2020. This is a supernatural ghost film that currently holds a 4.1 out of 10 on IMDb. It was directed by Andy Palmer and written by Alex Carl, and it stars Daniel Harris, Chad Murray, Courtney Gaines, Michael Reed, and Candace DeVisor. And this movie is about um, a paranormal team uh, sets to check out the abandoned Camp Coolbrook, where a mass murder had taken place decades uh, ago. <clears throat> While they're there, uh, a lot of uh, uh, events start to happen where they're caught on camera. And this is just another one of those paranormal um, activity type movies. Um, there are a lot of jump scares. Uh, some are effective. Some are, I would say, generic in a way. Uh, but the best part about this movie, in my opinion at least, is the third act. Um, I really enjoyed the ending. Um, I mean, not that we haven't seen that type of ending before, but for this movie, I enjoyed it. And it cuts up for possibly a sequel if you wanted to go that route. Um, I don't know what they'll do, but um, as far as the overall movie is concerned, I had a good time with this movie. Um, I like the characters, uh, and as the, the movie unfolds, uh, I started to care about some of these characters as well. Uh, and like I said, especially leading into the third act, uh, at least I started caring about the characters. Uh, but I like the story, uh, the setting, uh, is a sweet place, we're at a camp. At first, I thought this was going to be another slasher movie. It's not a slasher movie, which I was kind of happy about. I, I love the supernatural. I love movies like that, if they're done properly. Um, I don't know what the budget was for this movie. Um, I won't know those numbers until um, it's out of theaters. It's in select theaters right now, and it's also on demand, which I end up paying $8 to watch the movie. Which I didn't mind because I love Daniel Harris. I'm always going to watch uh, and support her movies. And um, I didn't enjoy this one. It's not without its issues though. Uh, movie. Uh, sorry about that. The camera froze up. It's too short of a movie uh, in my opinion. I wanted to, to dive in more. Not only about the characters. But you know. Their past. And I want to know more about this. Uh, camp and its history uh, and uh, what I want to see some like flashback scenes of what actually happened at this camp as well uh, and then some of the dialogue didn't work of course uh, was was, was kind of cheesy uh, but for the most part though the performances were decent uh, my personal favorite uh, and I'm not just saying that because she's one of my favorite actresses, but uh, I like Daniel Harris. She she definitely demands um, the, the the camera, and uh, she's pretty much the face of the movie. Um, but yeah, uh, she's really good. And another performance I I give it off to is uh, uh, Chad Murray, who plays Jack. I thought he was really good in this movie as well. But outside that, though, there's not a whole lot to this movie. Uh, it's just not long enough. You have The Conjuring, which are are longer movies, and they're more effective. So I think if this movie was at least 20, 25 minutes longer, um, it could have been more effective. It could have been a better movie. But uh, uh, with that being said, though, I'm going to give Camp Coldbrook an 8 out of 10. And... I'll give it two thumbs up. So, yeah, give it a look-see. It's something uh, different to watch. 
It's my first movie review for 2020. And I'm really excited about that as well. But uh, other than that, in the comment section below, if you've seen the movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And, uh, you know, let me know who your favorite character was. Uh, I've read out some of the reviews that uh, some people didn't like the ending. Uh, some people think this movie was just total trash. Uh, but for me, I enjoyed it for what it is. Uh, and I uh, can't wait to see uh, what kind of numbers it brings into the box office. Even though it's in a, a limited release, uh, still like to see what it brings in. But other than that, if you're new to the channel, subscribe today for more content. If you like this review, hit that like button. Uh, other than that, though, I uh, thank you guys for liking and supporting my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, when I do more movie reviews, TV show reviews, trailer reviews, top tens, and rankings. On Tuesdays is when I do new movie reviews. Uh, whether they're from late last year or earlier this year, uh, they're always on Tuesdays. I do believe I will be watching, let me look here, uh, movie reviews I will be watching, uh, see, Knives Out will be on the 25th, uh, but for this Tuesday, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood and Jojo Rabbit are the movies I'll be watching this Tuesday on the 18th. So look forward to those reviews as well. And if you're looking for other channels to watch, um, my father, Bill Treagle, has his channel here on YouTube uh, where he does his own original music, his own videos for his own home studio. Definitely check that out as well. Uh, he's also on Drupal under uh, Bill Treagle as well. So definitely go check them out. But other than that, I thank you guys for watching and check you later.